everybody welcome back uh, it's Chris again so this is going to be part two of the Kydex holster build uh, today is Thursday and it's the first day I've had off since uh, since the weekend and I'm, I'm doing this in uh, succession with my schoolwork so basically this is my finals week and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be finishing off the uh, the Kydex build for my holster and after looking at it and thinking about it I think I'm gonna take this down to about right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat it up with the with the heat gun until it gets pliable and then press it again. But it shouldn't take as long to uh, to get that held like it should. So it shouldn't take me that long to do that. Um, other than that, that's all I'm gonna really do today is I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put some uh, some rivets in right here. And I'm going to attach the uh, the belt clip to the outside of it, and that's going to create my uh, my outside the waistband holster. So I'm also going to try to polish it up a little bit. I've been looking online trying to figure out what I can use, and it's got me thinking about some things for for a new video series. Is doing this kind of stuff with stuff you find around the house, um, you know, just. This, this right here I used I used the kit that it came with that came with it but you can order a kit off of Amazon and what I might do is I may just go ahead and do that order a kit off of Amazon and then go through it all together once I get the lighting in here fixed and get some better lighting because this just having two lights is killing me because it goes dark and then it goes light it's all kinds of crazy anyways um, but yeah I'm thinking about doing that and just doing it with stuff that you can find around the house um, let me know what you all think about that in the, in the comments. I know that some of my videos get to be a little bit long and we forget about stuff So make sure you write that down so, uh, somewhere and we'll we'll discuss it in the comments or hit us up on the Facebook page And I'll be glad to talk to you about it um, But yeah, I'm thinking about doing it with just stuff that you can make around the house and stuff that you can use around the house Like you can use instead of using the heat press like I did you can use your oven to heat this up and all you got to do is just get it up to about 350, 360 degrees, and you and it's pliable. Um, other than that, the the polishing compound that's what's got me got me uh, confused a little bit because I don't know what I'm going to use for it. Um, I've still got to cut it down a little bit more. I've still got to cut like this sharp edge down because I'm not going to hit my finger on that whenever I go to whenever I go to draw. I don't want I don't want to have that hit my middle finger every time I go to draw. That's it's not going to be comfortable. Um, but yeah, after you know, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to remold it, and uh, I'll videotape this. I, everything I'm going to do today, I'm going to put on here. Uh, so some of the stuff might be you know fast forwarded through the uh, you know movie magic and all that stuff but I'll put some music on and uh, let that play through as I'm doing it so but yeah we're gonna move over to the uh, to the heat to the press and as y'all can see you can see my breath today <coughs> it is cold in my building it is right now it's 25 in Harlan uh, where, where I live in uh, southeastern Kentucky it is 25 degrees might not think that's bad but whenever you're out in the build out in your shop doing stuff you know it gets cold um other than that that's about all i got guys so if y'all have any questions comments concerns throw them in the comments below uh my lights are starting to pop up now a little bit brighter it's 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 crazy i need i need help anyways um uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get started guys we're gonna go ahead and move over do some uh Heat treating, I'm gonna to try to do it without melting my firearm. That's gonna be fun. So uh, we'll be, I'll be back in just a second. Y'all will, uh, we'll, we'll get to that point and I'll have it pointed down to the press and we'll get started. All right, see you in a second. All right guys, we're back and basically I'm just gonna be using um, this heat gun that I got from Harbor Freight as Drill Master, as you can see. I uh, got picked it up from Harbor Freight for like, I think eight bucks. So we'll see exactly how good this thing works. Uh, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to heat up this area right here 
and then I'm going to place this in there with the firearm and then uh, and then just press it again and and hopefully hopefully it turns out right and all right right to it <laughs> Basically doing the same thing as before. Oop. Apparently my hand's hitting that. Alright guys, so as you can see I've got it pretty much closed. We're just going to let it sit there, let it cool off for a little bit. And uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll work out. So I'm going to let this cool off. I'm going to go grab me a cup of coffee, warm up for a second. And uh, we'll be back with the next part. Alright guys, we're back and I just wanted to... Uh, check this out see what we're dealing with see how it did hopefully i got it warm enough to actually hold uh so let's see see what it looks like i know that seems like a lot of pressure and it really is i mean look you it's stuck to the bottom to the top let's see here yep all right, so that seems to have done it. Um, oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot better than it was uh, the other day, so. That will work, guys and gals. All right, so let's, uh, let's move over to the you know yep all right so let's move over to the uh to the good old other workbench where i'm going to cut it uh, i'm going to cut it back down cut a little bit off of it here uh cut this off right here and uh, this right here should be fine so yeah Should be good to go. All right, so I will see y'all in just a second. All right, guys, so we're back over at the uh, at the workbench, per se. Um, I've really got to build me a better workbench. So what I've done is, uh, as you've seen, I just went ahead and heated it back up and made that smaller. So it was it, it was covering the 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 trigger guard and the trigger well. So what I've done is I took that and cut it down about a half inch to where I've just got this plate that's gonna be the, the part that holds the, um, the belt clip on. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this stuff down and put it to where it will actually fit properly. Um, and then we'll polish, or then I'll, uh, I'll mark it, drill for the, um, 
the rivets then we'll go ahead and put the rivets in and then we'll uh, finish up sanding and then we're going to try to polish it a little bit still haven't figured out what i'm going to use for polishing um I'm sure I can find some turtle wax or something around here. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Um, I may have some mother's chrome polish or uh, some stainless steel polish that I may try to use. Um, if not, I'm just going to try to sand it and then hit it with a honing stone or something. I don't know. But we'll figure it out as we go. And um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to it. I'm What I'm going to do is I'm going to have, it, have the, the camera to where you all can see everything that I'm doing. Um, I had to get coffee. I'm having to drink coffee out here because it is so blasted cold. So I hope you all don't mind. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch the video over to where you all can see the workbench and the area that I'm going to be working on. And then we'll get started. And like I said, I will probably cut some of it out. I'll probably, I don't, I don't know if I'll actually cut anything out or not. I'll probably just go ahead and just run it, run it at a at a time lapse type thing maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out whenever I get into the editing. So we'll see y'all in just a second. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so <laughs> I've been all over the country looking for drill bits. Didn't want to buy any new ones because I knew I had a pack right here. Went searching for them. Went over to, uh, whenever I gave up searching for them, I went over to my dad's and borrowed his set. And the ones I needed was not there. My luck. So uh, I kept looking, kept looking, and I was like, well, okay, I'll just, I'll just deal with it and do with what I got. And then I came back in here, and over there next to the uh, electrical box, I found my, my drill bit sets. It, it, it was a... Uh, it was very interesting. So anyways, back to what we're doing at hand. We've got some, uh, these little bitty, um, rivets. Uh, this drill bit is a quarter inch drill bit. That is what we will be using to drill out the, the hole for the rivets. And then I believe it is a seven thirty seconds. 7.30 seconds for the actual um, belt clip. Uh, that fits pretty pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and drill these out, get them ready to get them ready to mount, and uh, you all will see that I'm, I'm I'm debating on if I'm just going to do it with drill by hand or if I'm going to actually use the drill press. Uh, drill press is fun to watch, so I may do it with the drill press. It's an older drill press, so. I don't know. I'll probably just do it by hand because I'm I'm tired and being lazy today. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, I decided to go ahead and use the drill press. Um, I don't know why. It seems like it may be easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes out, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it works out. Hopefully you all can kind of see, or you know halfway see what I'm doing um, I know that this isn't the, the most ideal um, vantage point for you all but you know at least I'm, I'm 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 keeping the camera rolling while I'm doing all this stuff so it's really cold uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the smaller ones first for the for the holster or for the uh, the belt clip and uh, then we'll We'll change the drill bits out, and uh, I'm just going to let it roll roll through, and you all get to see all that. So, enjoy.
All right, so there we go. We've got the two uh, drilled out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the drill bits out. Normally I would test the fit, but I feel pretty confident on it. And I don't wanna make this video two hours long. So let's just go ahead and change them out. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get the others drilled. All right, should be good and tight. I'm gonna just go ahead and clamp it like this with, uh, with just a small clamp to try to keep it close to the same size or the uh the same location i guess you would say and then hopefully it won't walk too bad so here we go pretty good uh, there's a little bit of a little bit of stuff in the center there but we can take a smaller drill bit and just sweep that out no problem so it looks pretty good on both sides I think I'm gonna be happy with the two with the two rivets so let's go ahead and move back over to the workbench I think I'm done here hopefully everything will line up and uh, we'll see you in just a second All right, guys, welcome back. So we just got through uh, drilling everything out. Um, it looks really good. So let's test and make sure that everything fits properly. So the uh, the rivets look like they're going to fit pretty good. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of finagling or squeezing to get together. And that's just mainly from the, uh, from the gap... Uh, the piece of linole or the the piece of wood that I used to that I put in the front in front of the trigger guard to to keep the space the spacer that I used I can't think of words today apparently so uh, let's see if the holster the clip yeah the clip looks like it might be off just a hair. And if it is, then I can fix that with a little bit of uh, a little bit of beveling. But we'll see. We'll see if we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything together. Um, if I have to, I'll go back over to the drill press and go ahead and do that. So uh, we'll go ahead and and put these uh, put these together, and y'all see how to set some rivets and put the belt clip on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera in. So y'all can see that. All right, guys, we're back. So one thing that I wanted to discuss, and a lot of people may not understand this or, or even know this, but if you've got a Phillips head or a flathead for that matter, and you're working with the gunsmithing stuff, um, if you've got a flathead for sure, let me get this out. You'll, you're going to need a set of screwdrivers that are made specifically for gunsmithing and you can tell these screwdrivers because they're not completely beveled they actually have like a flat shank on them so but now we're working with a uh, with a Phillips or four-way right now and I did want to go over this and I know that 
most of y'all are like, okay, get to the point, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's not my style. I talk too much. So you've got your, uh, you got your Phillips. If you put a smaller Phillips in, you're going to feel a little bit of give. Even if you put a, a larger Phillips, you may feel a little bit of give. Go until you find the one that feels tight and it's not going to give any at all. That's the one you want to use. That might look like too big of a screwdriver to be using with this small of a screw. It's not. Make sure they fit so you don't strip them. That's the main part. That's the main point that I can, you know, portray on this. So let's go ahead and put these together. Um, I'm going to. I see that I'm gonna. Ha I may have a little bit of trouble with I don't know let me see if I can do these this way okay so what we're gonna do maybe if I can get this one back out without losing it put that rubber grommet on there and then we're gonna put that and then we're going to start the screw. And I'm hoping that I'm getting this in the in the frame, guys. Da, da, da. And sometimes you just have to work with it until you get it started. Especially if the threads are being a pain in the you know what. There we go. So one of my favorite tricks I guess you would say is to turn it uh, back it out until it, you feel it click and then and then you'll know that you're you're not gonna you know strip it you're not gonna over tighten it or anything like that so let's go ahead and put the other one get it started so we'll put the rubber grommet on and then over top, and we'll get that screw started. Now, like I said, they were a little bit off, so I may have to take it back over to the to the drill press and and bevel it out just a little bit, but I shouldn't. Come on. The one thing you don't want to do with any anything that's got threads on it is cross thread it. I've learned that many times. And it's so cold out here, guys. I'm just having a little bit of trouble. There we go. tighten it up
And there you go. Got the belt clip installed. So this is gonna, it's definitely gonna be an interesting holster to wear. I don't know, this could be, my, you know, for my first one, I can't say that it's too bad. But let's go ahead and uh, and get the get these set in because this is what I've been interested to see how exactly it works. I've, this now the guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the first time I've ever set rivets by hand. Um, I've always used like a like a riveter. So. Don't hold it against me if I completely screw this up. And I'm going to put gloves on because I know what happens whenever I hit myself in the hand with a hammer. And if all of a sudden the video goes to a loud music, you'll know that I've hit myself in the hand with a hammer. Because I try to keep this uh, channel family friendly to where we don't um, we don't cuss we don't we don't talk politics which trust me I would love to but we're not going to um, I may end up starting another channel just for that but anyways back to it uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this I'm gonna hit it one time square and then I'm gonna go around it to try to bevel it out and uh, that's what I've seen videos on how to do this. So let's let's see what happens. Guys, I've got to say that looks pretty pretty doggone good. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty much holding. I'd like to get it a little bit more in, but let's see what what I, what I can do. Oh yeah, just hit it right on it. That done a, that done a good number on it. Check that out. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But now that's pretty, guys. And it's got a good. Let's check the check for tension. Oh yeah, that's got good tension. Now might might even have a little bit too much tension. But you can definitely. I'll tell you what, that gun ain't gonna fall out on its own. That's for that's for sure. All right, guys. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and get the other one in. I want to take my glove off just for, just to get it started. Anywho, all right. So that one's a little bit tighter. Um, let's go ahead and get it going. That was a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be, guys. A lot easier. All right. I just wanted to see. Oh, yeah. That works out. Guys, that... Uh, that one went a little... Okay. Now I see why they tell you to do that. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me get it up close and personal. Kind of flattened it out. And I guess that's why they tell you not to, uh, not to go straight on it. So that tells you right there, you know, what happens whenever you do. So I, you know, but it's on the inside, so it's not going to matter that much to me. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Let's see about the fit now. Because the more tension you add, and that that is that can be considered retaining. So that, guys, <laughs> that's pretty good. I may have to I may have to heat this side up a little bit and just let it relax a little bit more. But that's 
That's for sure. Yeah. I like that. That's not going anywhere, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm shaking it. Mm. All right. Now, there is a little bit of holster wear on that. I don't know about that. Uh, let's see if it just wipes off. Yeah, it wipes off a little bit. There's a little bit of holster wear on it. And I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Which, this is, guys, if this was a Kimber, I would be all about, you know, hey, I'm not going to put this in this kind of holster. It's a Taurus. They're like 200 bucks, 230, 250 bucks, depending on where you get them. <laughs> They're not bad. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I've got to take some pictures of this th uh, for school. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera, and then we will move on to the polishing and sanding and shaping. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back, and I wanted to do just a little quick view. That's what it looks like from the front, and uh, this is what it looks like from the back. You really can't tell about that second rivet on the bottom, or over here. It's not that bad, but it doesn't look as pretty as the top one either. So I figured, you know, I, I learned, I wanted to do that one on purpose and, uh, and see exactly why you do that, and now we know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this, cut this off. Um, and I'm going to smooth everything up a little bit, make it look all pretty and everything. Smooth up this edge. And I found some polish that I'm going to use or I'm going to try uh, if it's still good. Ooh. I don't know if it's still good or not, but we're going to try it anyways. Um, it's, it's mother's uh, mag and aluminum polish. It doesn't look the greatest. Um, it's kind of, eh, it might work. We'll see. I'm going to use it anyways. All right, guys, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and set up for the, uh, for the grinding, which I think I already am set up for it. I just want to get it, get it ready to go. And then, uh, I'll move the camera in. All right. See you in just a second. All right, guys. So we're back and I'm going to go ahead and you know, clean this up a little bit, make it look a little pretty, and then we will uh, we'll start the polishing. Uh, I'm using just a well, I'll show you exactly what I'm using. I'm using a Dremel tool, or the uh, actually it's the Win Rotary tool from my from one of my other videos, and that is the tool that I will be using with the attachment. Um, I love this attachment, guys. Uh, it's it's perfect for for jobs like this to where you can just hold the attachment you can hold it in any different direction you know and it still works out great so let's go ahead and get started I'll probably just put the regular music that I have on all my videos up may may mix it up a little bit I don't know but I don't want you all to be too bored so let's see if we can angle this down just a little bit to where I'm gonna be working all right so let's go ahead and get it started
right, guys. So that looks really. I mean, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with that. I want to look and see, you know, see how it feels on the on the firearm. Let's see. Let's see how that feels. So yeah, that is definitely definitely removed that. Oh, I can't. Sorry, guys. Definitely removed that one piece that. Uh, that would be uh, stabbing me every time that I would go to draw. So, I mean, it looks good to me. Let me know what you all think about in the uh, in the comments. It's very it's very tight. And that's for that's for sure. It is very tight. Um, and I know what that's from. <laughs> uh, whenever I went to go heat it up again, I did not uh, glue that. I did or I did not build that up. So. That could be the reason why it's so tight. Um, I don't really feel an indention right there, but I don't know. I like it. I'm trying to see if I can press the magazine release, but I can't, so that's good. All right, now, <sighs> let's see about polishing this bad boy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, turn the video off go ahead and take some pictures of it now that it's uh, grinded up or uh, you know and we'll uh, I'll be back in just a minute all right guys so we're back and <laughs> I've kind of mixed up a little bit of the the mothers so we're gonna see how it works I don't I don't know if it's gonna work at all but you know that's that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what works, what don't work, and you know I'm just going to put a little bit right on it, and I'll probably put just a little bit on the uh, on the buffing pad as well. All right, so I put a little bit on there. Let me get the buffing pad out. This is what I'm going to be using. Same tool, just. Uh, different same tool different uh, different head I guess All right. so yeah all right so I've got that pretty much I've, I've learned from experience that if you put too much on one side, it'll splatter all over the place. So I'm going to put this under here while I turn it on. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move that up just a little bit. Maybe down here. There we go. Sorry about the jerking around, guys. All right, so let's see what happens. All right. Peace. Well, I can already tell this is working out pretty good, but I do wish that I would have hooked up my polishing wheel. I think it would have went a little bit faster. Sorry guys, I didn't know
Alright guys, my phone's coming out low battery, so I'm probably gonna try to stop here in just a second and cut it back and plug it up. I'm hoping that recorded. Um, let me go ahead and get the power cord connected. I'm gonna do this while I'm recording. Hopefully, it won't have no mishaps. So let's see here. And I'm sorry, guys. All right. Okay, so we've got power cord right in the middle of everything. So hopefully, it doesn't. Guys, I'm giving you all the the prime advantage of seeing what all happens during making a YouTube video. Everything goes wrong. So there you go. Now I've got a, a cord that I have to deal with. Uh, so while I'm while I'm stopped for a minute, this stuff is working really different. Um, I'm not sure if it's really well or I mean it's smoothing it up really nicely. But it's also not giving it a shine like I would like it. Um, but now it is definitely smoothing it up. And if I don't know if I need to go faster, if I need to go slower. But I'll tell you one thing. I do wish that I would have had my, um, my power buffer. Or the, uh, whatchamacallit, the polisher. The bench polisher that I have. I wish I would have had it hooked up and this would have went so much faster. But anyways, I don't, so we won't even work, worry about that. Let me go ahead and put some more of this stuff on there. And just for the record, guys, this stuff is getting all over me. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not pretty what this looks like. Um... But anyways, the things I do to have cool stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on and we'll get back to it.
All right, guys. So let's take a look and see what what we've come up with here or what we've done. Who man, it's so cold out here. All right. So I can definitely tell a difference in the smoothness around the edges. Uh, there are some places like right here that I think that some sandpaper, some some real fine sandpaper would would probably do better. Um, I don't know why that gouged like that, but anyways, so I think that it uh, it is possible to do what I've done today. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get it cleaned up and, um, and do a recap. Recap. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So as y'all can see, it's getting really cold out here. Um, I don't even know what the temperature is. Uh, it's actually went up a degree, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm having to deal with the cord, but anyways, I, I did want to show you all the final product, um, or the finished product. So this is the holster that I built. Um, I like it. Uh, it's got some. It's got some real good retention. Um, I may have to, like I said, you know, warm it up a little bit and and do something right there because that it's holding it pretty pretty sturdy right there. And, but anyway, I don't know. I may. I may not. I don't know. I like it. Um, so this may be my EDC. I don't know. Uh, right now I'm, I'm in the process of getting ready to switch the, the plastic or the Kydex form for the, um, for the alien gear holster. Uh, I've got to get some hardware for it because apparently during so many, you know, taking it off, taking it, putting it on, taking it off, putting it in the closet, putting it in the drawer, putting it in a box, I've lost some of the hardware that goes with it. Uh, but anyway, I've got to go, I've got to order that from, from Alien Gear. Uh, but other, other, otherwise guys, I'm really digging this holster. <clears throat> I really like it. Um, it seems like it's going to hold up well. Uh, it doesn't have any sharp edges that's going to scratch. Um, the polishing did really well on it. So Mother's Car Polish, Mother's Aluminum and, uh, uh, a mag and aluminum polish. You can use that stuff. It is nasty. It is dirty. If you put a high polish wheel, a uh, high speed polish wheel to it, it is going to sling it all over you. Um, my shirt, my, my hoodie, I have actually cleaned it off already once. It's still nasty. Uh, the brush or the, the disc that I was using, the fibers started coming off of it, throwing them everywhere. It is. But anyways, you all probably seen it. I don't know. Other than that, guys, I really like this. Uh, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, any of that fun stuff, leave a message in the, or leave me a comment. Go to our Facebook page. You can find it under uh, Kentucky Clark Family, Kentucky Clark Family Vlog, and uh, leave us, you know, friend us on there. Uh, you can you can go like the page, uh, start a conversation on there if you want to. We'll talk about holsters. We'll talk about uh, whatever y'all want to talk about. I'm I'm game for talking about just about anything except politics. I don't want to talk about politics on this channel. But anyways, you know. Um. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I really uh, I really enjoyed making these videos for you all, and um, I hope that you all enjoy watching them just as much as I enjoy making them. Um, I've reached out to a couple of companies to see if they would actually, you know, sponsor us, uh, have us, you know, do stuff for them. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll see. Um, I may, I may, I'm sitting here feeling of this and I may change that, that bottom uh, rivet because it's not, it's kind of bothering me now that I'm feeling of it. It's not as round and as pretty as the other ones, as the other ones. So I may have to just drive it out of there and and go and set another one. I don't know. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I um, again, I really appreciate you all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching my video. Uh, the ones that comment, thank you so much for commenting. Um, 
guys we'll probably um, i don't know when i'll do another uh, giveaway if i do another giveaway um right now i'm just having fun making these videos making the holsters for you all um i know coming up in a couple of months i think maybe in march or april i will be doing a it's an old black powder build uh that's one of the things that i have to do for the school um, they send me the, everything I need, the kit, the brass, everything that I need to make it. Um, it's like an old Kentucky musket. Uh, it's not flintlock, unfortunately. I would love to build a flintlock uh, rifle. That would be really cool. Um, but it does, it, it is like a, uh, it's an old um, musket, pretty much. It's just not flintlock. Uh, the next thing after that, I'm trying to think of what else I've got. I've got a checkering lab that I'll be doing where... We put checkering on uh, on the on the rifle stocks. That's pretty cool. My final, and you all are really going to like this. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna video it. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I'm gonna do it until they take it down, and hopefully they don't take it down. Um, my final for the for the school is actually building a 1911 and milling it out and all that fun stuff. So hopefully, uh, come I think it's September. I think it ends in September maybe. But anyway, hopefully, uh, come September 19, you all will stick with me that long, and we'll have a, we'll have a very good long um, series about building a uh, 1911. I had a, I had a choice whether I wanted to do an AR-15, an AR-10, or a 1911. I chose the 1911 because I've built an AR-15. Uh, you can check out my other videos um, for that one. Um, an AR-10, I kind of want to build one of those, but it's the same principle as an AR-15. I've done it. Uh, I've not done an AR-10, but I do want to build one. But a 1911, that is totally different. That is a whole new ball game. That is going to be a piece of art, if you ask me. I love a 1911. Uh, a lot of people, you know, hey, which one's better, 1911 or Glock? Let's start an argument. But no, seriously, I'm not going to do that. Uh, or am I? No, seriously. Okay, so basically, guys, I really appreciate y'all sticking with me on these videos. I really have a lot of fun making them. Uh, if y'all have any questions, uh, if y'all have any, you know, ideas for another video, what do y'all want to see me do next? Um, you know, I'm game for just about, just about anything, uh, especially if it has to do with firearms. I'm going to do a scope video, uh, guys laughing and centering a scope. I just got to let it warm up a little bit is too cold right now to do that i will be doing that video soon i actually bought the uh the uh they're over there but i, I bought the the uh what's it called i bought the pins and the and the tool to to do the the uh, the regular scope rings um i think the one inch scope rings because the school sent me a 30 millimeter uh, to do the 30 millimeter scope rings, which I'm going to end up having to do them again. Actually, I, I have them right here. And if you look down in there, you can see that it's very high polished. It's very pretty. Um, and that's what it does. That's what, that's what it does whenever you, um, I can't even remember what it's called. I'm so cold. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, that's that's what happens whenever you, uh, or that, that's what that's what you do whenever you. Um... Anyways, I can't remember what it's called right now, guys. I'll probably remember it here shortly. But that's what happens whenever you prep a scope, and um, it's it's basically polishing the inside of it, getting it centered um, to where it lines up straight. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I am cold. I want to go back inside, make a cup of coffee, and warm up with my pits. Uh, and pits as in pit bulls. I will show you all a picture of them whenever... Uh, I'll put a picture in probably now. Alright, so now that y'all have seen the cute little pits, um, <laughs> you all... Um, Leave me a comment, uh, shout out. You know, if you wanna, if you want me to holler at you on whenever I do my next video, say hey, give me a shout out, Chris. I'll definitely do it. 
Uh, we're still trying to figure out which box. I think Kim's found out which box she wants to do. I think we're going to go ahead and order that soon. Um, and I, she may, she may or may not start selling stuff. I don't know, but if she does, it'll be fun. Y'all will get a. Well, we'll I'll help her sell it. We'll we'll have a a big fun time out of it. Um, Taylor's still getting her glam back. I'm still trying to figure out which box I want, guys. I can't figure it out. Um, I don't really want that. That's my dogs now. If y'all can hear that, they're wanting to go in. It's cold. Um, but basically, I I don't want to do the loot crate. I like loot crate, but I don't think that I mean, it would give me stuff that would that would junk up my my office. Um, I liked the tack pack, but the tack pack they kind of dropped the ball in December. Um, I've not even looked and see what they had in January. I I canceled it um, after December's box. I was just like, no, no, I'm I'm not going to continue with this. Um, you know, if they want if they want me to work with them, I'll be happy to work with them. Um, but I don't think I'm going to pay for that box anymore. Anyway. Um, you know, unless unless they change their if they unless they change up some of their stuff, some of their stuff it's like you know they sent one thing that was like a key ring, that you know if if anybody if if just average Joe was to get that box, and they got this key ring and they was like oh that is really cool it fits on my hand, puts it in their pocket walks down the street guess what that's concealed carry, um, and you will go to, you know you will get a fine if not go to jail for that. I think it might be a little irresponsible to send those out in the in the subscription boxes. That's just my opinion, guys. I don't know. It's that's up to you all. Again, I'm not going to talk about anything like that. Uh, so guys, I'm done. You all have a great night, day, morning, whenever y'all are watching this video. It is currently 5:36 p.m. and I still have a ton of papers to write and this is going to be so much fun so make sure that you hit i think that i was told that the like button is over here now um I, and it may be just switched flip-flopped i don't know anyways you all uh, hit that like button subscribe hit the bell have fun with it man listen anytime y'all hit that whenever y'all hit that bell y'all get notified anytime that we may put out a video myself my daughter my wife any of us put out a video y'all get notified um, so with that being said, make sure that y'all hit that bell. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like comment, you know, get on our Facebook page. If y'all have Facebook, share it, share that Facebook page. Let's see how many likes we can get on the Facebook page. Um, make sure you, that you all are subscribed guys. I'm out of here. My mind is lost. I'm, I'm just so cold. I'm so tired. I'm ready to go in. So I will see you all later. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for, you know, sticking around with the holster build really digging it we're gonna I'll, I'll probably do an update in a week and see how you all and let you all know what i think about it and how it's how it's working so we'll see you all next time thanks all right guys so i'm back i uh, just had to do a real quick follow-up i just put the holster on and because i had to take a picture of it it feels amazing um, i do have to say it does feel amazing the uh the draw is just it's phenomenal. Um, I don't have my setup out here to where I could actually take a video of it, but I mean, the, just having the the retention is just right. I mean, I thought it was going to be tight. I thought it was going to be too tight. It's just right. It's perfect. I love it. Um, if y'all have any questions, make sure you leave the comment below. Uh, this is going to be. <laughs> I don't know where I want to stick this in the video at, but I am going to stick it in the video, or I may just throw it up there as another one. Um, trying to get a picture of it or a video of it or something, but I mean, well, let's see here. Let me see. Let me see if I can do a, 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 just a, a junk video <laughs> of me pulling out a pistol. So let me see here. All right, guys, I'm going to try to do this. Um, I don't even know if y'all can see it. All right. So there is the holster ah, there. And I mean, it's perfect retention it's it feels it feels amazing guys i don't think i could have done a better job on it um other than cosmetic stuff you can't go wrong uh i'm loving it this is going to be my edc for a while so if y'all have any questions comments concerns throw them down below um 
hit me up on here hit me up on facebook whatever i'll see y'all later make sure you like comment subscribe see y'all later bye